fresh out of prison. He's a violent offender moving right into your neighborhood. But now there's this law that says you got to be notified. Flyers go out, let you Wait know that second. he's coming. Wait a second, whoa, whoa, I don't think it's fair. Why not? They're never going to get a break being branded that way. I mean, they did their time. My Please. parents would kill me if they knew I was doing this. Look, you told your mom we'd be out of the movie by 9.30. It's only 9. I also told her I'd wait in the lobby. This is awesome. Okay. Act old. Come on. You mean it's okay for an ex-con to move in right next door? Dave, what do you have to say about that, buddy? I want to know if they're moving in, because I want to plan a little housewarming. I know just what kind of party you want to throw. Hey, they're animals. They deserve it. I'm going back. Come on, Kathy. It's not like I'm going to do anything. I'm just going to look. I, I really need to go. Well, you'll have to go home. guy was talking about whoa time locked up in the big house what'd you do doesn't matter what i did what counts is what happened when i got out flyers went up and then let me guess you get a nasty unwelcome from your friends and neighbors i couldn't get a job they went nuts well come on what about us don't we deserve to feel safe from people like you You were supposed to be waiting in the lobby. I, I was just a block away. That was not our agreement. If you want me Mom, to trust a young lady, you have Mom, to stick to the agreement. Mom! I never would have let you come if I, I know! I just... Uh, it, it was stupid, okay? Okay. Well, Sarah and Tiffany... They're okay. Their moms are going to pick them up later. That's going to be mad, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Let's go, everybody! Kathy! In a minute! Now! You're lucky you get to go anywhere ever again after what you pulled last night. I said I was sorry. Jeez. Daniel, we're leaving without you! Hey, Jack! Last one there! Bye! Buy ice cream, I know! better put it on my tab. What is he cooking? JJ, in! Daniel, come join the rest of the Daddy, flock. Daddy, do you mean Footsie? Don't I always? Who's Footsie? My snake! Remember? Oh, yeah. He's a little confused about biology. Well, aren't we all? You don't like Footsie. Yes, you do. I love Footsie. Not out. this time, pal! Ah! Okay, climb aboard. JJ! Dad, see if you can steal the ball away from me. Well, I guess. That's the only way I'm going to get you into the car. Come on. Then? Okay. Come on. Okay. Uh, well, leave it. Kathy. Le Can I have my ball? Come and get it. Howdy, neighbor. I've seen you looking at my daughter one too many times, Farley. Looking illegal, is it, Jack? You stay away from my children, you understand? Sure, sure, sure. Just as long as they keep the playthings out of my yard. I hate asking for free advice, but you run the security business. I sweat. My kids play here, too. Okay, right. You haven't been having any trouble, have you? Oh, nothing big so far. A few pieces of equipment stolen from the basement. You can never be too careful. Spoken like a cop. Former cop. 
I'll tell you what. I think you've worked miracles in the little time you've been the rec director here. It's been a struggle with all the cutbacks. Call us when lunch is ready. Yes, sir. Anyway, I was so worried I wanted to ground her until she was 20. Yeah, I can remember doing stuff like that when I was Kathy's age. Oh, I know. It's typical teenage stuff, but still, it scared me. I hope seeing what we're putting up with isn't keeping you from wanting kids. <laughs> no. In fact, Scott and I have been talking about it. I mean, we've been married for almost a year, and I get my master's after one more semester. Maybe he won't let me play. He keeps on missing it. He's trying to practice. Why don't you go play on the swings, and I'll be over in just a minute to push you. I never get to do the big kid stuff. Just get out of here. You get out of here, both of you. I hate you both. OK. Yeah, have some juice. You know, if you want to practice with kids, um, you could work with mine. Take them, please. <laughs> Anytime. I'll pay big. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Mm, great. This is my last one. Will you hold that, please? Ah, uh, yeah. Karen's going to help me deliver them tomorrow. It's really pretty. Very, very pretty. What? Hmm. I was just thinking what a beautiful bride you'll make someday. Mom, you know I don't have time for boys. Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, your father will be very happy about that. <laughs> Good night, Mom. Psyche. Hers and ours. It scares me how fast she's growing up. Oh, no. As much as you'd like to, that's the one thing you can't control. I am telling you, you are not wearing your soccer uniform to school, especially I... not like that. Now go upstairs. I'm not a little kid anymore. You can't tell me what to do. Watch me and take off that makeup, all of us. Sarah wears makeup and she's and a year younger not than Sarah, me. And you are not wearing oh, makeup to get out school. Of this house. I can't wear my ding, 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 round two. Uh, Boys, when did the police force didn't want you anymore? You know what? I quit the police force so that I could start a business and buy this house and pay for those clothes. Why are you answering her? And you're not helping matters, young lady. Mom, everyone's wearing the uniform to school today, and we're going to win the division championship. Uh -huh. And you want to show off. Yeah? Sounds good to me. I'll take off all the makeup. Deal? All right, then... Tuck in that shirt. Just a minute, young lady. Whoa! Way cool! 
great rewarder for starting a fight. Oh, ease up, Jack. They're for me and your father for the game. They're awesome. Thank you, Mom. I don't think you're going to get away with this again. Hey, and remember I'm picking you up here, 3.30. She's impossible. Well, of course she is. She's 13. It's required. Oh, great. I really appreciate you delivering these for me. Oh, glad to do it. The extra cash really helps. With school expenses, it's a little tight. Well, I've got another wedding next week and a bar mitzvah, so save some time for me. I'm all yours. Oh, gosh. I've got to get the boys and take Kathy to her soccer game. <laughs> Wish her luck for me. Oh, I will. Thanks. I can't believe any more stars said he liked your shorts. I know. I was totally dying. <laughs> I'm amazed your dad let you wear them. Mom did. My dad had a conniption. He doesn't understand me at all. <laughs> I don't want to live in the same state as him. Okay, well, I gotta go, so I'll see you at the game. Okay, cool. See ya. Bye! and doesn't tell me. JJ, turn that thing off, please. She said you were bringing her. You haven't seen her? No. Then tell her to hurry. We need her. Where else would she go, boys? Come on, think. I don't know. Porter's in security. Oh, hi. Uh, no, uh, Jack's out. Uh, do you know uh, where he went? I don't know where he went. Do you want me to take a message? I can't find Kathy. Please have Jack call as soon as he gets in. Right. Thanks. All right, boys, 
You stay here and answer the door if anyone calls. Karen! Have you seen Kathy? What? Have you seen Kathy? No, what's wrong? I can't find her. Would you help me? Of course. Check with the neighbors, see if anyone's seen her. Have you seen Kathy? No. Would you call us if you do? I will. Nicholas, have you seen Kathy Porterson? Uh -uh. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Farley! Farley! Dara, hi. Listen, have you seen Kathy? Well, do you have any idea... No, no, she never showed up at the soccer game. She's not there? Okay, if you see her, can you ask no, her to call home right away? Elizabeth! Yes? Bank call. You said the cat is... I can't find her. I came to pick her up and she wasn't home. And she never showed up at the soccer game. Whoa, 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 She's whoa calm down. What time were you supposed to pick her up from here? 3.30. Did you call her friends? Yes, everyone she knows, the whole class, everybody. And what about the neighbors? Uh, we've knocked on every door for blocks around, Jack. Are there any signs of a break-in? No. I checked every door and every window. Do you think she came home after school? Well, her bike's here. She's been here. Hey, got your message. What can I do? I want to check around the house and then through some of the, the hangouts downtown. It's all my fault. I never should have had that fight with her this morning. Elizabeth, it's going to be okay. There's no reason to panic. Street, you? No, not yet. Maybe we should check the soccer field. This one's off the All edge. Right, let's and... go. Kathy! 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 Did you find her? No. Well, you, you should you should check the the soccer field. We checked the soccer field, the movies, and every fast food place within five miles. She's not hanging out somewhere. Maybe she. I know. She she, she has a girlfriend. We don't know. It's somebody now, she Elizabeth, met at a honey, party. Elizabeth, honey, it doesn't work like that. What do you mean it doesn't work like that? She's being a snotty teenager. She's hiding somewhere to to upset you, and it could be Denny, that boy she likes. Elizabeth, home, please Jack. listen to me. If a teenager runs away, no signs of forced entry, nothing out of place. Then for the first three to six hours, the odds are pretty strong that the kid did something stupid. But it's 9.30. She stayed out one night until one o'clock in the morning, Jack. And that stunt she pulled wandering away was just the other night. It has night. been six hours. We have done everything within the neighborhood. We need to call the police. I know she's all right, I'm sure. Yes, 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 of course she is. So let's get some help and find her while she still is. Nine one one, your name, please. Yeah, this is Jack Porterson. Do you have an emergency? Yes, it is an emergency. I'm sending someone over. my daughter oh what's wrong man you, you can't keep track of your own kids <laughs> Jack? what did you do with my gun nothing what what did you do with what are you talking about i didn't do nothing i keep on going i keep on crazy drew a gun right there and he comes running across the lawn 
Davis? Jack Portison. You help me, family? It's my daughter. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Grace Maynard. We'll do everything we can. Jack used to be on the job. We did a couple of cases together over in Langdon. Oh, yeah, right. Check this guy Farley out next door. He's very weird. He's always lurking around Kathy. Okay. There's been no sign of a break-in. We're in violence. Nothing in the room's been disturbed. We need to contact contiguous locals, Vicat. Jack. If the crime scene is clean, which it is, Jack, the CSU Jack, guys are going to Let need... me get the information I need, and I want to see you taking care of your family. I've got a lot of ideas. Yeah, I know you do. Are the uniforms up to speed? Oh, yeah, they're on it, Jack. We'll need some pictures. Check this guy Farley out, okay? Okay. We'll find her. We'll start at the beginning. When was she last seen? Comic books. I'm a collector. You collect videotapes as well? That's right. So what? You've been drinking, haven't you, Mr. Farley? I've had a few cocktails, yeah. Alone? With friends. And these friends of yours, they have names and phone numbers? Maybe. Listen, what's all this about anyway? You don't mind if I take a look around, do you? One where she looks pretty. Her hair's a mess in this one. She, she'll be so upset if I use a bad picture. The most recent one. Isn't she? Of course. She always feeds my snake. You should go back to bed. I like that one. Daniel. No, not till she comes home. Jack Portison tells me you and he had words about his daughter. Words. Says you look at her funny. I like jerking his chain, okay? I mean, he is uptight. And you take it out on the kid. I teased her, all right? Just to freak out her old man. But, like, I would never do anything, you know, crazy. No, Mr. Farley, I don't know. But keep an eye on him. Did you search Farley's? There's no sign of her we're checking his alibi. Well, how hard did you push him? Oh, Jack, we're on it, okay? Now we need that photograph. We'll set up a phone bank, information center. Use the rec center. We've got everything you need. Thanks. Elizabeth, there is something you can do. This is my daughter, Kathy Ann Porterson. She's been missing since yesterday. If any of you have seen her or you know where she is, please contact the Brylin Police Department. And Kathy, if you can hear me, honey, I love you. And we're not mad. We just want you home. And if you can't get back home, if, if something's keeping you away, don't worry, we'll find you. We love you. And we'll never stop looking for you. The task force is already out over around the First Street area. Okay, and where do you think you heard her? Scott, three neighbors saw a girl. Don't know the hair color, and a couple psychics are offering services for feet. Now, we've got 2,000 flyers ready to go. Volunteers are waiting in the driveway, groups of six. We'll put the flyers on trees and telephone poles. Thanks, I... We really appreciate everything you're doing. No problem. Okay, people, remember, take every message down, no matter how crazy, all right? We're tracking everything. There's food in the kitchen. Help yourselves. And I'd like to say thank you. You don't know how much this means. Thank you. You finished testing the windows and doors downstairs? Yeah. Anything? Not yet. Oh, no, you can't come in here. Oh, for God's sake. We're going to have to print the family for comparison. Yeah, sure, that's fine. But the odds of finding her alive go down by half every 24 hours. Now, Jack, nothing magic's going to happen at 3.30. You know the odds go down by the second, by the minute. 
Uh, no. I need to get something in Kathy's room. Well, I'm sorry, Elizabeth. This is my house. It's my crime scene. say anything at all that can help us a fight with anybody a crush maybe a teacher anything like that hey she's your girlfriend now i don't care if we have to hurt somebody's feelings we gotta know everything She had, like, a huge fight with him yesterday. With who? Her father. Jack Portison is okay. Ah, come on, Davis. He quit the force. <laughs> he wanted to give his family more. Who made that a crime? But he's got a real problem with his temper. Where'd you hear that? Besides having a major blowout with this kid the day she disappeared, the uniforms had to peel dear old dad off his next door neighbor last night. I like him. You're looking at me? Hard to miss you. You weren't in the office when she disappeared. I, I was picking up some security monitors at a warehouse down on Adams. Anybody see it? I have no idea. The foreman, ask around. True, you had a fight with your daughter that morning. That kind of thing happened a lot between you two. She is 13. You had an excessive force complaint filed against you while you were on the job. I was vindicated. Look, you are supposed to be finding out what happened to my daughter! That's exactly what I'm doing. You really think I had something to do with this? I think we're gonna find out. Did Jack have a lot of problems with Kathy? Oh, just the usual... Why are you asking me that? Jack is a wonderful father. But he wasn't in his office at the time of the disappearance. You tried to call him, right? That's what you told us. Look, I know this is difficult, but we have to ask. Uh, why are you asking me about Jack when that creep Farley's walking around free as a bird? We talked to Farley, and his boss at work confirmed his whereabouts. He's clean. <sighs> They question me. They think... I know. You don't, right? You don't think... Oh, Jack. We'll find her. Here's a signature on the way bill signed by Beaumont. There's Jack's signature. There's the time punch of the trucker. 3.28 p.m. All right. I appreciate your help on this. Right. Of course, Jack probably gave you the same info about the warehouse, so I assume you want something else. Yeah, there is one other thing. Has Jack ever mentioned any problems at home? <laughs> Look, Jack Porterson lives for his family. If you think he had anything to do with all this, you're way, way off base. Start with this sector here, and work our way all the way around over okay. to the left. See it? Yeah, yeah, Okay. Let's go. There are teams of volunteers in the ravine that leads to the state park, but it's rugged terrain. It takes time. We went all through Cartwell, over to Talbert Street, and down from East Lake. So far, nothing. Okay. Let's focus on the northeast section. There are eight zones left. Scott, you and I should take zone five. But that's not the direction she would have gone if she was trying to make it to the game. We should look anyway. Yeah. Uh, there's something else. Uh, some kids here at the rec center told me a lot of teenagers go to this downtown area. Kind of a haven for runaways. 
Scott and I can check the shelters. Jack and I will go downtown. She'd never do it. She'd never come down here alone. She said she had to get out of the house. What? That morning when he yelled at her. She said she had to get out. This place is awful. Have you seen this girl? Hi. Have any of you seen this girl? Have you seen her? No, oh, man. Can you help me out? Uh, no, Anybody? Uh oh. Have you seen her? You see anybody who looks like that down here? Well, she'd be clean. She just left home. Check the streets. She would be strawberry. What? What? She is not. Oh. She is not shooting up. She is a little girl. Oh, okay, yes. all right. Jack, Jack, Jack. Spread the word. Anybody? No. no. Could you just take it? Maybe someone knows her. Kathy? Kathy? Kathy, oh, thank God. Kathy. Oh my god, Kathy! What are you doing? <sighs> Clothing, you'd think something would show up. What are you looking for? No. Then stop. Jack, it's been two weeks. What's the next step? I, I don't know. We've done everything by the book. We keep looking. We keep hoping. That's it? Yeah, that is it. I don't know anything else. We have two sons to take care of. We need to stay strong. Yeah, right. Strong. I'm so proud of you, Scott. You've been such a good friend to Jack during this whole thing. Uh, well, what else could I do, huh? I don't know how they're making it through this, you know? I mean, I don't think I could survive. Hmm. How you doing? Look, it's been a rough day. I'm just... I'm really worn out, okay? Oh, yeah? Are you too worn out? Karen, after everything we've been going through, I don't see how you can even... Okay. No, I'm sorry. It's just... This really has me rattled, you know? 
I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. Mom, I'm telling you, don't need to tuck me in. No, you're not too old for a kiss. How about you? What's wrong? I said something to Kathy to make her leave. No, 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 you didn't. She made me mad that day we were at the rec center. I told her I hated her. Danielle, everybody in this family said something to Kathy that they wish they hadn't. Me too. And she didn't want to leave because of me? No. No, oh, JJ? No. Mm -mm. Did she run away at all? She's coming home. We're sure about that, right? Right. What if Kathy didn't run away? What if somebody really got her? I know. I'm freaking out just thinking about it. I can't believe it happened to someone we know. This stuff only happens on the news. I know what you mean. I just hope she's okay. Hey, Mrs. Elliot. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Tiffany. Oh, really? Oh, sorry. Thanks for the call. Good, good. Thank you. Come Thank down you. again, please. Liz? I'm fine. Sure. I just wish I could do something to help you. Hi. Uh, this is George. Here to see you. I saw in the news about your daughter. I thought this might be something I don't know. Anything you can tell us, please go ahead. I live on a street just around the corner from you, mm -hmm. and I saw this landscaping truck on the block the day your daughter disappeared. Now, I know every garden on this street, and every gardener. I'd never seen him before. And the way he was looking around, sort of nervous-like, it just struck me as odd, you know? Was he tall? Short, thin, fat. I guess if I saw him again, I'd recognize him, but he was really very average. But it bothered me because the next day, I was on my way to the supermarket and I saw that truck again. Only this time, it was up at Old Creek. Just sitting there, parked on the side of the road. Strange again. Did you get a license plate number? Anything you remember at all? The, the truck was beige or gray. B beige. Beige or gray truck, no plates, no identifying marks. The lead is a prayer. It's more than you had on me. That's true. Four guys at the warehouse confirmed you were there, but we had to check. You know we did. What else do you have? Not much. Look, folks, it's been a month. I'm getting pressure from the lieutenant. We will do what we can. But what? Well, we're going to keep investigating at full steam, but we're going to have to cut back on the search. You can't give up. You can't give up. We've had no ransom call. We have found nothing. Jack. Other people are not getting the protection they deserve because everyone's been out working the search. You're giving up because you think she's dead. Don't ever say that. Why, because if I say the word, it'll kill her? Because I'm not stopping. We have searched the entire county. The odds of finding her are almost non-existent. Almost isn't good enough, Jack. That little speck of hope never goes down to zero, no matter how many times it divides in half. And I am never, ever giving up. I don't know what else to do. Whatever it takes. That's what we'll do. Whatever it takes. This is probably nuts, but I'm desperate. Besides, she was the only psychic who seemed real. She didn't ask for money. Bargain it twice the price. Um, okay. That's probably her. 
Excuse me. I'm I'm Linda. I'm Elizabeth. No. Karen. Hey. Hi. I brought the earrings you asked for. Oh, good. Oh, she's sweet, your daughter. Very close to Daniel. Boyfriend? My youngest son? Yep, that's him. You girls want a tea? Sure. She does something with Daniel every day. A pet. How did you know? Thank you. Could we have two more, please? Images just pop into my head. Have since I was a child. Where is my daughter? Could you help me find her? I can try, but... It's odd. What? I just got a sense of a strong odor. What kind of odor? Like rotten eggs. What does that mean? I don't know, really. Decaying plants, perhaps? A swamp, maybe? God, I hope she's not here. She's not here, Jack. We're just being thorough. Oh, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Jack! Elizabeth! What is it? Don't know. There's something down there. Here. I can't believe I brought everybody out here because it was psychic. One night. Yeah, I think we could all use some rest. Pushed past me and ran out the door. I watched to make sure he drove away. What kind of vehicle? A beat up old pickup truck. But it was this funny color beige, like someone had just taken some house paint and slapped it on. It's funny the things you remember, huh? And you sure it was a beige truck? Yep. He doesn't seem to be in here. Wait a minute. That's him. Yep, that's him. Saw him on the block the day that little girl disappeared. We got him. This is the police! police. Bobby Lewis, where is he? No idea. Mind if I take a look? You won't find him. You his mother? That's right. What's going on here? Well, we need to talk to Bobby. Do you know where he is? I already told you I don't know. Bobby, buy you that TV? My son works hard to buy me nice things. All of this stuff's gonna look stolen, get taken down to the property room, unless you remember where he is. You can take the walls. I still don't know. I got the boys to bed. They finally found a lead. They what? A home invasion suspect with a beige truck. Just like Mrs. George saw. Do they have him? What they, did he they say? They don't know where he is. They, they found an address on his mother, but she's not talking. The guy could be out of state by now. Oh. When are we ever going to get a break on this? Police are searching for a 37-year-old Minneapolis man, Bobby Lewis, who they believe may have information regarding the missing girl. Meanwhile, Kathy Porterson's mother continues to ask the public for help. If any of you have seen her or know where she is, please call the Broadland. JJ? 
JJ? Would you please go find your brother? I don't know where he is. You what? Dad, you don't know where he for. is? Do I have? Oh, please. JJ, are you upstairs? JJ? Don't ever leave the house again without telling me. Do you understand, young man? I didn't leave the house. I'm sorry. I couldn't find you. Mrs. Lewis? Mrs. Lewis, I'm Elizabeth Porterson. Now, I can't talk now. Uh, Kathy Porterson's mother? What do you want here? Just some information. Your son Bobby was on our block the day my daughter disappeared. Please help me find my daughter. Well, Bobby didn't do anything. No, of course he didn't. I just want to talk to him. I haven't seen Kathy for weeks. I don't know if I'll ever see her again. Everybody's got their problems. Please, please, Mrs. Lewis, if you could just tell us where he is. We we'd pay, we'd, we'd do anything. He hasn't got your daughter. But, uh, Mrs. Lewis, please help us. And call the cops if you don't leave. It's dead. It's not dead. You're such a geek. Don't do that. Okay, all right. But it's not dead. Hey, hey, what's all the shouting about? He's upset about his snake. He hasn't eaten. Why not? Because Kathy hasn't fed it. Okay. We need to talk about all of this. Daniel, sit down. Come here, JJ. <sighs> JJ, your school called. And you got an asterisk for a grade. Kind of looked okay. Thought maybe you wouldn't notice it. <sighs> Look, guys, I, I... I know it's hard for you. And I know that it's... What is this doing here? I didn't want anybody taking Daniel. You don't need this. Your father and I are here to protect you. You didn't protect Kathy. She's coming home, Daniel. And we have to be here today being in our lives. Do you understand? No. No, I don't. Daniel, you need to feed your snake. Because he depends on you. And JJ, you need to do your homework because that's your job as a kid right now. And forget about her? No, no, no. Never, ever forget about her. But we have to go on and treasure the things that we have right now. I'll feed your snake. Okay, I'll do your homework. That's my boys. I had a visitor today. I didn't do nothing! You got the wrong guy! I'll take that coffee now. A latte, half decaf with a sparkle of cinnamon. Sparkle? You think we're doing sparkles here? You want to hey, see sparkles? Like you're scaring hey, hey, me! Hey, hey, take a breather. Bobby, we got a photo ID on the B&E. Got a lot of very peculiar electronic equipment, complete with serial numbers. Hey, I didn't do anything, all right? I have no idea how the Don't TV got Don't do this there. to me, Bobby! We have a productive working relationship here. It's a good relationship. It's based on trust. Now, you trust me, Bobby. Oh, I'm loving you. 
I didn't do the burglaries. Can I go now? Why don't you tell me about Kathy Porterson? You were seen on the street. Now we know that you went into the house and you abducted the little girl. Whoa, what are you talking about? Ah, now you listen. Listen to me, you creep. I'm going to find that little girl's body and I'm going to have all the evidence I need to see your life twitch out at the wrong end of a lethal jab. You understand? I didn't take her. I am going to find your DNA on her body and I'm going to nail you for it. You I hear? didn't do it. I didn't do anything and I want a lawyer. I'm afraid that's all we're going to get. That's right. There is a it's way. not him. He's a burglar. He steals TVs, not kids. It's too soon to give up on him. You're wasting your time. Jack. He was on the block. We have to take everything seriously. You're grasping. Jack. Yeah, that's right. I'm grasping because I have no other choice. You are blowing this investigation and my daughter's life depends on you. You are in the way. Go home. And do nothing. Yes. Jack? What's going on? Maybe Davis is right. There's nothing left for me to do. You can help hold us together. I'm not sure I can. I'm not sure of anything anymore. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Jack? You know, the world I knew is gone. This perfect, safe place that we created for ourselves has disappeared with Kathy. We don't have time for this, for feeling sorry for ourselves. Well, all I've got left is time. You're wrong. Uh, Elizabeth! You're wrong! I can't get through this alone, Jack. I can't do it. Nothing that's going on inside you or me matters right now. All that matters is Kathy. You're here. You're breathing. You're healthy. And right now that means you don't get to complain. You get to help. That's it. I am glad that you are her mother. Because I can't deal with this. Jack? Hard. It's all crashing down and I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry, Jack. I can't imagine. You ever lost control? I don't I don't just mean for a couple of minutes, you know, out of anger. I lost control of your life? You know what? When the car swerves, it's before it hits a wall. I want to be there for her. Wherever she is. To hold her, to comfort her. To bring her home.
do my best. Take your time. I don't have to. Number four. You sure? Yes, I am. Now let me out of here. That woman's gonna put your boy on a spit and barbecue. On a possible burglary, where you didn't find his friends at the Porterson house. He was at the scene. On the block, not at the house. <laughs> you better have born than that. You know, that Bobby, he's some kind of a gardener. He's always late. Now, he was supposed to be at my house at 12 o'clock sharp, and now a second later. And what time did he get to your house that Tuesday? Oh, 2.30. And he stayed with you until 5.30? Yes, he did. And you sure about that? Of course I'm sure, man. We're a team. I point, he digs. Okay, Counselor, you win for now, which means our boy's still out there. Hey, Liz. Hey, Karen. Did you hear anything yet? The police? Yeah, it's not Bobby Lewis. And they have no other leads. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I really thought this was the break we were looking for. You know, when Kathy was being a brat, I wanted to scream at her. And the very next second, she could just fill my heart. I wasn't a good mother. No, I, I did everything wrong. I, I should have been here when she got home. I was running late. And those shorts. Jack was right. I should never have let her wear anything like that to school. You can't think like that. You can't blame yourself. What if she's dead? I can't believe I said it. Ten weeks. She's been gone ten weeks, Karen. I've got to find her. I can't let go. So don't. Think your mom will ever let you go out by yourself again? Yeah, when I'm married to a Rottweiler. I'm packing pepper spray. Yeah, I already am. Want to see? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Task force? Uh, no, we don't want the phones disconnected. Not yet. Hi, Mrs. Borderson. Hi, girls. Thanks for coming. Well, we're glad you called us. What are we going to do? Well, we're just going to start all over again. It looks like almost everything's been searched, huh? Yeah. There's still a few places left. What's this? Area 5, out old Thornton Road. How did that get passed over? I know where that is. Uh, there's an old plant out there. My grandpa used to be the foreman, and he used to take me there. What kind of plant? Um, I, I was just a little girl, but I remember it smelled really awful. Sort of like rotten eggs. I'll call Jack. You stay with the girls. Girls? Um... um. With the phones, if any call comes in important, let me know. We will. When a life is 
tragically foreshortened. One is tempted to speak of lost potential, of a future that never was. Not for Catherine. These loving parents wanted to thank the Lord for each and every day they had with their young daughter. Each of us can treasure our own moments with her. Secrets between siblings. Laughter between girlfriends. Tender moments between parent and child. Each poignant and temporary. Kathy's life was like a blossom. Perfect and yet so short-lived. Reminding us that we should give thanks and rejoice for what we have each day. Even today in our grief, she reminds us to embrace the affection of community and family. It was nice today, I thought, what the, um, what the minister said about treasuring our memories of Kathy. How do I do it? How do I get past this? I don't think you do. I think you just try more and more to concentrate on the things that you do have in your life and maybe someday the love that you feel for Kathy will be bigger than the pain of her loss. I think that's all you can hope for. Why? Why, Kathy? Why us? I know only God knows the answer, but I can't help but ask the question. I don't know that I'll ever be able to stop asking why. Thank you, that's very kind of you. Sorry for your loss. I'm also sorry if I caused you any additional pain. I was just doing what I thought I had to do. I know. Jack, you hanging in there? Yeah. I, I want you to know how much I appreciate everything you've been doing. So far, I mean. Hey, we're not giving up on this. For Kathy's sake. We want to make sure this never happens again. Has... Has forensics come up with anything? Not yet, I'm afraid. It's been a little slow going because of the condition of the body. Sorry. That was more than you wanted to know. No, it's okay. We need to know everything if we're going to find who did this. Elizabeth, uh... I brought you Kathy's charm bracelet. I thought... I'll be back. Thank you. Sorry, I don't, uh, I don't know what's the right thing to say. I'm sorry, too. It's all so weird, don't you think? I know. It's like... It's like somebody took an eraser to a part of my life. And now the Kathy part's just blank. Yeah, it's like, why isn't she here with us now? Yeah. But where did she go? She's in heaven, honey. Where is that? Doesn't she need her clothes and that stuff she uses on her hair? Do they already have that there? It doesn't work that way. How does it work? I don't know. No one really knows. It's confusing for everybody. Mom, can I take care of her brown teddy bear? Oh, I think she'd like that. Kathy's going to get a ribbon for soccer. Maybe you'd like that, huh? It's something she'd be very proud of. Too bad she never got to see it. Well, wear new cleats. I want to play in the championship. Yeah. Jack? 
Yeah. Did you tell Scott about Kathy's new cleats? No. Why? Nothing, I guess. Never mind. Oh, God. I can't stop thinking about Kathy. I just, I, I can't imagine how afraid she must have been. I don't want to talk about it. I just hope that that monster... I said what? I don't want to talk about it. Why can't we talk about it, Scott? Why can't we ever talk about anything that's important? Your job? Us having a baby? Kathy? I, I need to know what you're feeling. It's just too upsetting. For both of us. Let's just try to put it behind us. Okay. Nothing. I can't see a face. I can't see anything. That's it? I can't see him. A lot of times, I don't get the dark stuff. I can't let it in. I can get Kathy, though. I have her already. Kathy is fine where she is. You're the one who needs to go on, Elizabeth. Try to find a way to resolve this. Try to reach a place where you can feel some peace. I will, I think. Eventually. I see. That's it then. After all the work I've done, after all the time I've spent to make this place better, none of that means anything? How soon? How soon? No, no, I don't understand, but obviously that's the last thing that you care about. Scott? More budget cuts. Funding shortfalls, the usual bureaucratic crap. And you, and, and your job? They're cutting it to part-time. Not enough to live on, I'll have to quit. I have no choice. When is all this gonna happen? 30 days, then we'll have to start all over. wrong no there's um there's there's a funding problem at the center and scott's upset i'm sorry is there anything i can do no um it'll all work itself out one way or another how are you how's how's the family doing well boys are doing pretty well jack's having a rough time of it though he really misses kathy scott too you know, you won't talk about having children anymore. I can't even stand to hear the mention of Kathy's name. Karen, I never said anything to you about how we found Kathy, did I? What she was wearing, anything like that? No. So you couldn't have told Scott? No. Why? Nothing, really. Come and help me with the finger painters. <laughs> Scott knows about the cleats, and Karen didn't tell him. 
And she also said that he doesn't want to talk about Kathy. There could be a million explanations. And the one you like best is that I'm obsessed. Well, you know what? You're right. Elizabeth, you can't do this. Of course I can. Look, just go back to your normal life. What's normal? My child was murdered. I got no reason to fingerprint Scott Elliott. I need something stronger to hang my hat on. What about Lewis? Oh. Maybe he saw Scott that day at our house. He didn't say he saw anyone. Well, maybe that's because you guys didn't ask. He is a liar and a felon. He's a witness. I didn't have anything to do with it. End of story. I believe you, I believe you, but you were on our street that day. So please, think, Bobby. Any sounds, any smells, anything. You're wasting your time. I'm fighting for my family here. Please, think. What did you see? It's just a neighborhood, that's all. There's some dog barking, some guy running, regular day. A guy running in the middle of the work day? What did he look like? Uh, I don't know, regular guy. Bobby, please. Youngish, um, a sort of brownish hair, maybe. Maybe not. He was all sweated up. Yeah, his, his pants were sticking to him. Purple pants? Hey, hey, this is getting humming with the DA, right? Karen? Scott? Hello? Fixing a bike down in the cellar. Um, I, I, I was actually expecting Karen. I thought she said she'd be here. Um, could you hold that for a moment? Um, there were twenty dollars for making some flower deliveries. Could you give it to her for me, please? Sure. Thanks. See ya. See ya. You wanted evidence? Bobby Lewis saw a man in purple pants running in our neighborhood the day Kathy disappeared. A man in purple pants? Elizabeth, that's not good enough. Run the prints. I've seen Scott in purple pants. Check his record. Please. Okay. I'll get it done today. Faster than that. Me. Sorry, didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, they just had the ceremony over at the soccer field for the league championship. Uh, they gave me Kathy's room and I thought I might find Mrs. Porterson here. She was here, but she's not here now. She doesn't come around as much anymore. She doesn't mean as much anymore. Not without Kathy. Yeah. Sarah? Mm hmm I'm about due for a break. You want to, uh... You want to get some ice cream with me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. Uh, leave your bike. You can get it later. Yeah. Jack, listen, I want you to help me get Davis focused on Scott. He'll listen to you. Jack? There is no probable cause. What does that mean? That Kathy's killer goes free? Elizabeth, do you remember what you said to me? You were right. Let them do their job. That man killed our daughter. This is crazy. Yes, this... it's crazy. And you have to trust me. I owe it to Kathy. You owe it to Kathy.
tough on all of us, me included. I really miss her. Kathy was my best friend. It must have been horrible for her. Oh, creeps me out just thinking about it. Guess we'll never know what happened, though. I really hope they catch the guy. I mean, it scares me just knowing he's still out there. What are you doing here? Where is he? Who? Scott? He's he's at work, I no, guess. No, no, he's not. I just called. Well... What are you... What's going on? Did you know, Karen? Did I know what? What, what are you talking about? How do you explain this? It came from Kathy's bracelet. Wait a minute. Why are you going through Scott's things? Your husband killed my daughter. What? Your husband killed my daughter. What are you, are you crazy? That's not possible. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. How well do you know Scott, Karen? He's my husband. Look, Elizabeth, I know that you're still grieving for Kathy, but how could you Where accuse him of something like that? Where is he from, Karen? I, I don't, you know, that's, I don't know. What about his family? Do you know his what? family? No, I don't. Did you that's ever meet his friends? Listen did to me. Did you ever go I, to his hometown? Elizabeth, How long I, did you know I, Scott before you married him? I knew him for a few months, but I know him. Do you? Yes. Really? Yes, I do. I love him. And I know that he couldn't have done the things that you're saying. I wish that were true, Karen. But if you would ask a few more questions, my daughter might be alive today. I bet a girl like you has lots of boyfriends. Scott! <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. It's embarrassing. <laughs> nice. You know, you've totally changed my mood. I'm glad. I was afraid you were going to step on your lower lip. <laughs> you know, you can't let things like this put your life on hold. You got to just lean on friends and keep on going. I know. Just know, though, I'm one of those friends. I'm here for you whenever you need me. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> hey, I better get back. Better finish up. ribbon for Kathy and was going to drop it by your place, but she hasn't come home yet. I'm a little worried. Maybe she stopped by the rec center thinking you were there. I'll give them a call. Thanks. These need to go down to records. 
Did you check those prints yet? Yeah, I sent them down to the lab. Did you tell him it was a rush job? Jack, come on. I believe Elizabeth. I trust her judgment. What do you say we give those lab guys a push? Okay. Thanks for the ice cream. I enjoyed it. Sarah. Your reflector's broken. Oh. Come on. I'll take it down to the shop and fix it up for you. Uh, I really should get going. Feed yourself. Just take a second. Okay. 911, what's the nature of your emergency? I need to speak with Detective Davis of Ryland PD. Hurry, please. It's Scott's picture, but who the hell is Alex Turner? Jack, your wet just called 911 and said she's on her way to the rec center. She thinks Scott Elliott just grabbed another kid. Let's go. Will uh, you grab a wrench from that tool chest over there for me? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, no, I don't, I don't see any wrenches. Second drawer from the bottom. Serve two or four. When he went back home, flyers went up. Guy jumped parole when the neighbors made his life hell. Not the kind of hell I've got in mind. Elizabeth. I have been for a long time. 
I try to control myself, I really do, but I can't. I can't stop. Not with Kathy, not with Sarah, and not with you! Do it! Do it! Give me the wrench. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can in a court of law. How's Sarah? Oh, she's gonna be fine. Apparently he used chloroform, so she'll wake up with a bad headache, but apart from that, she'll be okay. Did you reach your mom? Yeah, she's gonna meet us at the hospital. I'm gonna need a statement from you, Elizabeth. We'll come down in a bit. I should have listened to you. Elizabeth, mm -hmm. thank you. For what? For never giving up. Let's go home to our boys, okay? From Lifetime Original Movies, the perfect husband's death almost became his perfect crime. They are saying that Pat is not deceased. How well do you really know someone? What in the world did you think you were doing? Even your own husband. How could a father turn his back on a family that loves him? Margaret Cullen stars in a Lifetime original movie based on a true story, The Familiar Stranger. Coming up next on LMN.